Hello, everybody, and welcome. Thank you for joining us today for Motorola's introduction to our body-worn camera um, offerings, uh, which come from Eddy6. Um, we're very privileged and, and um, happy to have Larry today from Motorola to present to us the body-worn camera offering from Motorola. And uh, without further ado, um, Larry, I'm going to hand over to you. Thank you. Most big supermarkets or probably shopping malls on that they've been using for this as well as security firms itself all right the reason behind this is because they actually mainly use for uh shift all right we can actually record it for long hours and it's actually be suitable for using in the period of a typical shift uh, environment on this as well all right which i'll explain it further on later all right but this is actually not limited to just these four industries all right, it can actually be used in any of these industry or any of the industries that probably be able to use it. All right, as long as you know, as long as the customers' requirements actually fulfill that, we can actually you can actually use this BB400 itself. All right, so these are give a give a quick uh, functional functional specs of uh, the BB400s. All right, you see many used to actually deploy. Uh, in the most of the public safety markets as well as in terms of the retails as well. All right, so what you can do is actually you can actually have a long uh, 12 hours of battery life. You can have a continuous recording of 12 hours. All right, so which is typically can be able to use for a full shift length of recording capability, depend uh, typically around eight to 10 hours on the, on the customer shift on it as well. All right, so, you can actually have also have a wide angle lens itself, about 140 diagonal wide angle. All right, and you actually can capture about a full HD video quality of for the video footage itself. All right, as I mentioned before, all right, they can actually can actually have a lot of security features. We actually have able to actually secure uh, footage offload down to the video manager as well, and this is one of the one of the major features that you upselling on this VB400 itself. Alright, VB400 has also have a lot of excellent audio and video recording capabilities. All right, we can actually can able to capture high quality video footage even in low light conditions of up to 0.2 lux. All right, so it's actually very important for most of the customers itself. Actually, when they have uh, in the in the night time, they're actually doing a lot of patrolling. All right, which is actually being uh, useful. We do also have a uh, dual microphones. All right, and this actually allows to actually have a wide dynamic audio range. All right, so to allow to actually capture uh, one of them to actually to fine tune to actually the human voice, the range of human voice, as well as to the uh, noisy environments at the back end itself. All right, so this we also actually able to do a configurable pre-recording of up to two minutes. All right, so, so which means that you will not actually miss any of this uh, moments of events all right when you actually start pressing the start button the start recording buttons but because you will actually record anything before uh, uh of up to actually two minutes before what's going on in the event itself all right in the in the gps i mean in the vb400 itself we do have a lot of uh, connectivity communications all right one of them is actually on the gps functionality itself all right, we can actually provide uh, the GPS locations of where the camera or the users is. All right, and also probably uh, capture where all these recordings of all, uh, where this recording has been on. All right, if actually you actually, if let's say we do have actually have a Wi Fi uh, capability as well, if you're actually able to do a 4G uh, hittering and you can actually using Wi Fi capabilities, you can actually share these locations back to the video manager back end itself so the engine of this uh command controls rooms or control rooms itself any officers in the control rooms can be they actually can be able to see where the locations of these body one cameras itself all right uh we do actually have uh, bluetooth connectivities all right this is a very uh great features that you have all right we're actually able to actually to pair up with a uh, many of the uh, Bluetooth uh, sensor device, all right? Uh, one of them is actually using our hostess aware sensors, 
All right, this is actually mainly used for the police or maybe for the security firms itself where they do have any of the firearms or even they have the patents or probably a fight or probably pepper sprays they have. All right, and we have actually these sensors on the hostess itself. All right, so when actually these sensors is actually being uh, paired up with the VB400s and any of these un uh, uh, firearms or patents of uh, pepper sprays itself are being unhosted, they're able to actually just trigger the VB400 to start recording itself. All right, uh, we also have uh, a mobile applications, uh, we call it a companion app itself. All right, they should be installed on the Android mobile devices, actually you can pair up uh, on that as well. I will, I will definitely uh, explain it further on in our later slides itself. As well, we also have uh, the latest of what we have is actually a Bluetooth connectivity to integrate with our Motorola Tetra radios and probably other radios is coming out along in the roadmap itself. All right, we do actually have a uh, Wi-Fi capabilities. All right, uh, we have this Wi-Fi capabilities for actually for live streamings. All right, so if you actually have a uh, Wi-Fi uh, network itself, you can actually live streams back all these video footage, everything to the back end itself to for allows all this uh, officers in the control rooms so okay, to know and aware of any of the situations that's happening on, on the ground, on the officers on the ground itself. All right, we do actually have Wi-Fi offloading as well. So we can actually allow uh, video footage to actually to offload down from the device to the video manager itself through the Wi-Fi connectivity itself. All right. One of the another one that we actually have is actually on the peer assisted recording. All right, what is actually peer assisted recording? All right, it's actually uh, one of the features that we have is that it allows one of the officers or the users which have the body one cameras to actually to start recording their body one cameras but also to actually activate his teammates or other officers' um, body one cameras to tr start recording within the premises of 10 meters, all right? He's actually using a Bluetooth connectivity to do that, all right? So it actually allows you to actually have multiple viewpoints of what is going on in the, in the situation in that area, all right? But also actually helps all the other uh, teammates when they actually have a uh, full of hands, they are actually not able to actually press the start recordings. Uh, the teammates is actually able to actually to help to actually start rec their, their own record, uh, v, uh, their VB400 cameras and also the other teammates uh, VB400 cameras as well. All right, like I mentioned before, uh, we do have this uh, companion app itself. All right, this is actually the mobile applications, all right, they've actually installed on uh, only for Android phones itself. All right, so what actually does is in the applications itself is actually they can actually do a video playbacks of what is being recorded on the camera itself. All right, you can also do a lot of categorizing of what are uh, of the VB on the other cameras on the videos itself. All right, so you can actually uh, categorize this even before you actually upload it out to this video manager itself. All right. Apart from that itself, we do actually allow to the, the mobile applications or company app actually to actually to ch check the status of the batteries, the recordings, as well as the Bluetooth status of what is going on between the, the, the mobile devices as well as to the VB400 itself. All right. Lastly, one of these useful features, all right, is actually the live viewfinder. All right, this is actually allow you to see what is live of what your camera is seeing. All right, so you can actually check uh, whether your uh, camera is actually mounted correctly on your on, on your chest itself, that is the angle is actually mounted correctly or not, all right? So one of the newest features that we actually have for this, uh, uh, on these integrations with uh, our body one cameras, all right, is that you're actually able to actually integrate with the Motorola radio itself. All right, currently it's actually only available for Tetra radios. All right, and what actually does is actually uh, when uh, any of these radio operators or any officers that has a radio, all right, they do have uh, emergency buttons on it. They can actually, in the events of any emergencies, or probably if you have actually man down features itself, all right, when you actually press the emergency buttons, all right, you actually trigger 
these 41 cameras to start recording. Okay, so uh, in other in other types of uh, range of radios uh, in terms of Astro or, or even Dimetras or even Motobos itself, uh, it will actually be released up in the later of this year itself. All right, so in this uh, VB four hundred itself, we have comes up in many variants. All right, we do have a lot of our mounting kits as well to actually to suit any of these uh, customers' uniforms or the clothes as, or on it. All right, so we do actually have uh, so have harness available. So even in case that uh, they actually do not have any, uh, they want to actually use harness, which it can be able to provide them as well. All right. So one of the suggestions that we actually give is is to actually check uh, to actually request from customers, all right, to actually to give us uh, to actually to uh, provide us with what are the uniforms is, and we can actually propose what type of fittings and mounts to actually to suit their uniform itself. All right. This is also another one of our unique features. All right, which is actually is the rapid camera locations, all right? So this is allows us to actually to assign a cameras very fast and very easy, all right? We actually, what we actually do is actually using of RFID technologies, all right? So it's actually very ideal use for actually a large workforce when they actually have a lot, uh, they also have their ID cards or RFID cards with them, all right? So they actually can use the existing uh, RFID or ID card itself, or we can actually provide them with an RFID card itself, all right? All they need to actually do is actually to tag on an RFID reader and a camera will be assigned to them immediately, all right? So and how actually is being done on the workflow itself, all right? So what, this is actually the workflow of how we actually do a camera assignment, all right? So like I mentioned before, uh, the actually the staff or the users all you need is actually to get their RFID card, okay, to swipe across the RFID reader, all right. A camera will be actually automatically assigned to them, all right. So all they need is actually to take out the cameras being assigned to them and they actually can start to do their start of their shift to actually do the recording itself, all right. During recordings, all this, uh, uh, I mean, trackings of uh, members' IDs and stuff will be, will be actually in place itself. So wherever all these videos, all right, that have been captured by the users, you can actually identify them in their metadata or in the storage itself, which will be tagged to the videos itself. All right. So once at the end of the shift itself, all right, all the users had to do is just to actually return the camera back to the docking stations. All right. And that is all they need to do. All right, the cameras will actually automatically uh, offload of videos and also automatically charge this body one camera itself. And lastly, any of the, uh, any authorized users to actually to re they can actually review this footage and manage the video footage itself for any investigations or any incidents that probably need for investigation itself. All right, so what is actually the key selling message for this uh, VB four hundreds? All right. This has been already been very successful, all right, in the, because what, what you have is actually have a favorable market conditions and a very growing global appetite for this type of uh, robust and feature-rich body-worn cameras. And it's actually at a very sensible price point, all right? So I think we do have a lot of uh, uh, huge market to actually have in probably in APEC and probably in Australia and New Zealand that probably we have a needs of these body-worn cameras and it's actually a growing appetite for it. All right, we do have a lot of connectivities in place, you know, like Bluetooth itself, GPS itself, that actually can support all these uh, functionality and features for to be very useful in to, for the customers itself. All right, in terms of form factors, all right, we should be ruggedized and actually have a portrait oriented camera sits very well in terms of the competitive markets environment itself. All right, other than that, we do have actually have the software, all right, which has provides actually uh, comprehensive and configurable software solutions, all right, that can actually fit into the customer's uh, requirements as well as also to their business process and policies on it as well. So we do have uh, this whole field of end-to-end uh, -end solutions to actually fit all these requirements of the customers. And need, needless to actually say this, we actually, uh, Motorola brand is actually a 
highly reputable players in video security markets itself. So it's actually, and we have a lot of customers reference on this, and it's actually a proven history to actually use this 41 campus. Right, so this next I'll be going through on this, uh, another products of it, which is our video text series uh, 100. All right, uh, this is what we actually can't categorize it as an incident camera. All right, due to the fact that uh, because of a low, uh, probably a shorter uh, hours of recordings, and what we're actually being used for is actually uh, most of the times as uh, incidents uh, or incidents that probably are or if a time that you're actually aware of. All right, so only when you actually uh, once you start recordings, you go into the areas or any other situations, and then you will start to press recordings and. This is a, one of the basic features to actually use for video text 100 itself. All right, uh, these are the major uh, industry that's being used in the VT 100s. All right, uh, it's been really being used in terms of the retails, most of the commercial side itself, in terms of transportations itself. Uh, we do have our enforcement officers or the loan workers for parking and uh, park. Uh, parking enforcement of workers itself, as well as also the, on the security firms, probably in uh, 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 in the airports itself or in the customs, and we have to use that as well. All right, uh, like I mentioned before, it's not only just limited to these industries, but also can be able to use in any other industries that actually fits these requirements of using this VT100 itself. All right, this is actually one of the enterprise customers that we actually uh, recently bought our cameras itself, all right, which is actually for the transportations, which is the transfer for London, as well as the co-ops, which, uh, which is the supermarkets and Sainsbury's and Asda itself, and the G, probably G4S itself. All right, this is actually the key features of uh, functionalities of the VT100s, all right. Uh, you also actually have a wide angle lens on it, and it's actually able to actually provide a capture a HD videos, all right, on this, all right, and for this itself, they can actually record up to three hours of full recordings, all right, and the thing is that they do, we actually do have a high standby hours and you don't actually need to actually to keep charging this uh, body one cameras itself, all right. As uh, as what they have for VB400 itself, we do actually have secured footage offloadings uh, towards to our backend software itself. All right, so as mentioned, this is actually a VT100. It's actually a, a very simple uh, uh, features of uh, the camera itself. All right, that actually requires a minimal uh, interactions. All right, so we actually have only have a one button operations, which is actually a start and stop recordings. All right. So is you do not actually know what you need to actually to understand so other 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 what other uh, any other additional features of uh, they have because they doesn't they have a simple operations of just only recording, all right. They have actually have a long battery standby time like I've mentioned before, and so it's actually quite a low main, low maintenance solutions to actually to provide for customers itself. All right. One other features that we just have, uh, not just for uh, in terms of the cameras itself. All right, they can actually works uh, integrates with uh, additional or existing uh, CCTV as long as it's on with compliance. All right, so you can actually send this video footage uh, through live streams down to the uh, down to the CCTV VMS itself. So allows the control rooms or the command center uh, command centers uh, uh, officers. In that in areas to actually to see the live streams itself, so they can actually know the situation situational uh, awareness of it. So if this is mainly used for supermarkets or security firms itself, where any of these uh, incidents that actually happens, all right, the staff of the the staff of the supermarkets uh, will actually start activate the recording itself. You actually do a live streaming back to the uh, security firms uh, command centers, all right. The officers will actually to happy to actually see the live streams and actually able to check what is going on and make a, and probably make a decision makings and response all right to what's going to do next on it all right another of the features that we actually have for vt hundreds is actually to push to stream alerting all right 
uh, this is actually to actually to alert to send an alert to the control room itself. Uh, it's not just the live streamings, but it's actually do a, a prompt and uh, have a alert notifications to the control rooms officers in the control rooms, all right? So they can actually uh, aware of things that's going to happen, all right? And they can actually uh, respond and faster in terms of the situation of awareness in the environment itself, right? So what is the key selling points in uh, for BT100 itself? All right, uh, as I mentioned itself, uh, BT100 is actually specific more designed for commercial markets, especially for supermarkets, as well as for transportations, and also probably for security firms itself. All right, we do have a uh, VMS integrations on any of the on with compliance VMS systems. All right. And we also have uh, intuitive design operations, which is a very simple to use, uh, which is a one button uh, of start recording uh, features itself. Uh, we also have a uh, rapid camera locations. It's very much similar to what we have for VB400s. And we also have, like say, the video manager that you can use to actually to manage the software, uh, manage the video and the devices, as well as to actually to manage the, what you should integrate into your business process of it. As so I say, it's a proven history of it as well. All right. So what I'm going to do next is actually on this video manager. All right. Video manager is actually our backend software. All right. And what it actually does is actually, uh, it's actually an advanced software to itself. All right. That you can actually manage the, the, uh, the camera devices. All right. You can actually manage the users. In uh, terms of uh, giving authorized uh, permissions rights of uh, access on the camera itself or probably in the videos itself and you can actually have a whole uh, range of what the users can do and what the users can't do. All right. Apart from that, you actually, you actually can actually manage what uh, all the process on the workflows of uh, in place for actually to suit to integrate with your business uh, policies itself. All right. So it's actually a web-based access, all right? So you can actually manage it anywhere and anytime you have or on, on any devices, whether it's on the PCs itself or whether it's in the smartphone itself, all right? You can actually do it anywhere and anytime you want. All right, as I mentioned before, it's uh, highly secure, okay? We do have encryption keys, we have a uh, robust access, and we also have a lot of comprehensive audit trails to actually to manage all this uh, security and in place to know where, uh, who and where and be using this stuff, uh, using the cameras or even viewing the video footage itself, all right? So uh, the system is actually agnostics, all right? You can actually do a lot of integrations itself uh, with our RESTful APIs, all right? So we can actually integrate with any of the security information management systems or any of these uh, all with compliance VMS itself. Okay, we do have actually have a configurable uh, data retention control. All right, so actually based on the organization's uh, data protections or policies itself, we do have actually allows to configurable the numbers of data retention periods for your videos as well as for any of this footage itself. All right, uh, we do actually have a sophisticated uh, footage search itself. All right, so you can actually search for this video footage using the time and date, or probably on the device, and probably in the use, or probably based on the number of, uh, based on the user's name. All right, or even if you can actually can categorize, have already done any categorizing, you can actually do by the incidents or probably by the categorizing search itself. All right, so uh, to actually to complete the whole uh, architecture or the whole solutions of uh, of the body one camera systems itself. All right, we do have any additional uh, hardware to actually to fulfill these requirements itself. All right, we do have uh, docking stations. All right, what we have is actually a one port docking stations as well as a 14 slot uh, docking station itself. All right, these docking stations able to actually do uh, simultaneously do uh, rapid charging as well as to actually to offload these videos uh, offload down to the video manager software itself. All right. Uh, in terms of this, we do have actually what we call a dock controllers. All right. This allows uh, you to actually connect the docking stations as well as the or the cameras itself to actually 
uh, connects between the cameras as well as to the video manager software itself through uh, the LAN port or the one gigabyte or uh, one gigabits per second ports, Ethernet ports to the cameras and itself. All right, it actually supports the uh, RFID readers itself. All right, and this is where we actually connects the RFID readers. All right, and for these dock controllers, we can actually support up to actually six docking stations which means that you can actually have up to dock up to actually to 84 cameras in total. All right. And what we actually have is actually on this RFID readers. All right. This is mainly used with together with the dock controllers and you can actually have a maximum of pop, uh, probably up to 84 cameras per reader. All right. And the users actually have a unique serial IDs in the touch assignment field in the video manager itself. All right, so uh, as this is actually most of the last of the products overview itself, I will give you this is actually a comparison between our VT100s and the VB400s itself. As I mentioned, VT100s we actually consider as an incident recordings, as well as well, VB400s is more on the evidential recording itself. All right, the main difference is actually mainly on the battery life itself. All right, for VT100 itself, it's only up to actually three hours, whereas for VB400, it can maybe hold up to actually 12 hours of recording itself. All right, in terms of uh, features and features of it, all right, uh, we have uh, more features on the VB400 in terms of uh, pre recordings, in terms of bookmarkings, and in terms of other uh, Bluetooth. Uh, Capabilities itself, so you use the use of VB four hundreds, whereas for a simple uh, type of uh, recording itself, will be more towards the VT hundred itself. All right. So next, I would actually goes on to is actually uh, to give you some understandings of the system architecture itself. All right. What I'm going to do is actually give you a very simple uh, optimal design. All right. This is uh, what you actually needs in this design is actually a uh, uh, dock controllers, uh, simple uh, docking stations with RFID tags, and all you need is actually to connect to uh, to the network itself. All right, probably you have uh, in terms of uh, demonstrations, or uh, you might actually want to you have another uh, 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 4G router or Wi-Fi router. All right, so you actually connect it up, so you can actually use that and actually link it up with your video managers, whether is it on the laptop itself or whether you have a, a network a video managers hosted in your data center itself. All right, so this is actually a very simple uh, architecture. All right, a simple uh, instance of this, how to actually you connect up for demonstrations or probably in a very uh, small scales of uh, deployment. All right, this will be the basis of how you need for this design of architecture itself. All right, so as actually when you're actually looking at this, all right, you can actually set it up as uh, blocks of this design or this okay, architecture and actually you can scale it up in terms of a bigger deployments or even in a bigger uh, environments where you have multiple locations. All right, uh, the, the design will probably be much be the same in every of the sites or the or locations, all right, and this can be actually connect up through the network itself, and you have a, probably have a, a video manager software up in the data centers to actually to manage all these devices itself, all right. So what's so next? I'll be going on to this uh, the live demo itself, all right. So let me actually. Uh, stop sharing on this and probably I will share with you on uh, on my camera itself. Right. So what I'm gonna do to what I'm gonna do is actually to show you the live demo of this. And right, so what I'm going to show you to you, I uh, probably can actually see my uh, camera view. All right, so uh, what I have actually on this on the on the left hand side is actually on the web based uh, video manager. All right, 
and uh, this is uh, like I say this is actually a web base you can actually use it anywhere uh, anywhere in the probably in the laptop or probably in the mobile devices all right so these are basically of views of what it is in the VMware, which I will probably uh, introduce it much later. All right, what I'm going to show it to you, all right, in probably in a, at a corner side of this, you can actually see uh, the physical of the body on cameras, which is the VB400. All right, and probably this is the docking 14 slot docks itself. All right, what you can see in the later part is actually on the DC 200s, which actually connects between this uh, RFID readers as well as the docking con as well as the docking station itself. So basically, when you actually do for demonstrations of uh, or trials, and then this is basically the simple architecture that you actually need itself. And this is about what this is about it and what you need to actually to present to the customers. All right. So what I'm going to do to you is going to do a very quick uh, demonstrations of a. Uh, rapid camera locations all right using the rfid tags itself so what i have on hand is actually i have a uh, two rfid cards and what i'm going to do is actually doing a quick rfid assignment of the cameras of these two device of two disk uh, users itself all right so what i'm going to do is actually to tap my card on the rfid readers and you can see there will be a red led and a green led blinking this will be the cameras going to be assigned to you. And all the users need to do is have to unlock the cameras. And this is what you actually have to use this camera for to use in the shift itself. All right. What I'm going to show to you is another card that I'm going to show you. So all you need is to just undock it. And probably you have these two cameras on hand. All right. And probably the users will actually use to actually show it out. All right. To, to use for their shift itself. All right. So what I'm going to show it to you, all right, is actually uh, one of the features is called the peer assisted recording. All right. So one, it could be actually, uh, you know, not most of the times, you know, when FPS is going up in pairs or the users probably you, you are, are going for patrols or security firms, they'll be used up in pairs itself. All right. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to press one of the body one cameras to start recording, which is you have these big buttons in front. All right, it will actually automatically trigger another button, uh, another VB400 cameras to actually start recording as well. All right, so what I'm going to do is I just press on this. Okay, you can see immediately that this red light is actually on. All right, I'll show it to you again. I'll just disable the recording. Press and hold, and you'll just stop recording. All right, so what you do is actually I'm going to start recording again. Okay, so I'm just going to press the recording button. You can see that the next uh, camera is actually uh, start recording as well. All right, so uh, probably I'll just with one camera here. All right, so what I'm going to do is actually, if you can see in the video manager, all right, I do have a Wi-Fi enabled. Okay, you can see that uh, there's two uh, camera is being assigned on different operators name itself which is a uh, which is one is larry another one is minghui all right and you can see on the status itself they are actually basically recording and you can actually do a live streaming of what they actually do or what they actually see all right so uh, what i'm going to do is actually press this live view of one of this and this is actually the view of one of the cameras in it Okay, probably you can see some here, some uh, voice echo itself because it's actually recording audio itself. So this is one of the features of what we have for live streamings. All right, and what we can see, what you can see of uh, in terms of uh, recording in the command centers that the officer might want to see in the events of any incidents at all. All right, so any time of the end of the shift, all right, we can do is actually you can press and hold. You're going to stop the recording. All right, you can see that actually it has stopped recordings. You can see in the software itself that it's a room with stopped recordings. And what I'm going to do is actually join to talk it back to the docking station itself. And that will be probably end of my shift. And that is what I need to do in my, uh, what you need to actually do to return the VP400 itself. All right, if you can see that once I've docked it on, all right, I will actually automatically been downloading of the videos and it's probably it's actually charging the battery itself. 
All right. So this is basically what actually you see. And the, if you for any of these operators of any authorized users itself, you can actually see the recording videos. And this is what actually we offloaded out just now. All right. Uh, and the date itself, you can see that this has been offloaded out into the uh, VB uh, into the video manager itself on the back end software. All right. So this is going to be a simple. Uh, that live demos that uh, what you actually uh, you see, all right. Most of the common uh, uh, demonstrations of features that probably what customers will want to see as well, all right. So uh, so this is what comes at the end of my uh, live demos, and probably I will share back uh, my presentations on it. Thanks, Larry.